to bring all the good food and the pretty colors here in the kitchen. Good morning, everyone. Okay, it's our 24-hour wellness and health day here at HSN, and we've got something that I know you're going to love, okay? What is the first thing that most of us do New Year's Day? We're like, we're starting the diet. We're going to be healthier. We're going to eat better, right? We're going to make better choices. Most of us have fallen off the wagon by January 27th, right? Some of you haven't. Congratulations. One of the first things we do, we're like, we're going to eat less carbs. How do you do that, though, right? Everything we love comes in either bread or crackers or tortillas or tacos. You do it with this next item that I'm going to present to you. This was created very much in the style of nori, which is that seaweed that we wrap our sushi in. These are called gem wraps, and these are made out of fresh fruit purees and fresh fruit vegetables or fresh vegetable purees. Essentially, it's like that seaweed wrap. It is flat, and you use it to wrap your foods in, and you can do an assortment of items, all different kinds from like lunch, dinner, uh, breakfast, even desserts. And today we have two options for you. You can get the 48 count for $39.95. You do have two flex. It's all coming reduced shipping and handling. And what you'll get is 12 barbecue, 12 of the mango chipotle, 12 of the carrot, 12 tomato, and the newer kale apple, which I've never tried. And if you want, and you already love these, go ahead and pick up the 72 count. And the 72 count pretty much you're getting uh, double of the carrot, double of the tomato, and double of the kale. Very limited on the 72 count, by the way. I only have about 459 of those. Those are coming on three flexible payments. But this is a low-calorie alternative to those pitas, those breads, those crackers, those tortillas, those tacos. Miss Carrie Maletto, part of our Morning. Tea Party crew, yeah. is here to tell us more. You know I'm a fan. I, I know. absolutely adore these. They actually taste fantastic. You don't miss the bread, and I love right. bread. Well, you know, and, and, and I, I said earlier, I, Things that are like the healthier choices don't mean anything to me if they don't taste good. Yeah. And ultimately, when you look at this for the first time, you may do like my, what my friend Flo did when she first came to my house and I had these. She looked at it and she goes, what is that? And that <laughs> might be your face at home right now. You go, I don't understand. Let me explain it to you. So what happens is when you get these, they're going to come packaged where they have a plastic on the back. This is just to keep them from sticking to each other. And all that, like Leslie was saying, this is a fruit and vegetable puree. So what I'm tearing right now is our tomato. And this is actually made using a whole tomato so you're actually getting a whole tomato in your diet just by putting your food in here so now the shiny side you'll see there's a shiny side there's a coarse side we put the shiny side down and so now this is going to be our working surface okay. anything that you could put and I'm gonna make you a chicken parm because I was okay. talking to you about this before and you said <laughs> and my eyes good. lit up she said much that sounds awesome <laughs> like, I was like that sounds great for breakfast <laughs> get, don't get in the way of the lady with a baby and two two baby two okay babies. so here we go we're gonna put right here our provolone to start then I'm going to go ahead and put my chicken. So okay. I just have my fried, you know, chicken, grilled chicken, however you want to do it. Mm -hmm. um, then we're going to go ahead and put some sun-dried tomato. Ooh, you're okay. getting fancy on me. Oh, my gosh. We don't stop. Yeah. Okay, so whatever <laughs> you enjoy, you can put. So anything you would put on bread or a wrap or anything of the above, you can put on your gem wrap. So now we're just going to finish it off with some lettuce, so some romaine. Yum. And then this is how easy this becomes. And you know, you'll see, there's a lot in here. You can really stuff these, so don't let them fool you, because sometimes people go, well, that looks kind of small. No way. You put a lot in here. So you're just going to roll it. And as we roll it, I go ahead and I squeeze to the side to make sure it gets all the way along. And then I am using a pastry brush. You could simply use a paper towel, your finger. I use my finger. Anything you want. <laughs> I'm fancy like that. All you're trying to do <laughs> is get a little bit of a liquid, kind of like about the equivalent of like licking an envelope. And yeah. that's just to seal it. So What's going to happen is as soon as you are done, you're just going to kind of do this and set it to the side for about two to three minutes. Yes, and that's a very important step. It is a very I important think step. Many people forget about it because yeah. that's where all of those flavors of the fruit puree, the vegetable puree, it's like they come to life, right? Exactly, because they're, they're, they're actually infusing into the food. So like what's they happening? Now, I'm going to come back to one we made just before the show, and if I put it right next to the one we just see made, the I want you to see the difference of what it looks like. So this one still is a little more drier because it just hit the air. This one here, you see how it's now gotten nice and moist. It's now infused with what's inside, and what's inside is awesome. This one is our chicken burrito. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. We got some rice, we got some chicken, we got some cheese, all the, all good stuff. And what happens is it becomes like you could almost do like you ever had pinwheels like at a party or anything like that. You could make little pinwheels out of them if you cut them small like this. Look how pretty they are Or you are can too, make right? them like an actual sandwich, like yeah. you just cut them in two pieces. They're so pretty and so different. And, and Carrie said it best, you know, a lot of times the things that we choose that are all natural or that are gluten-free or that are low-carb, 
we're like, that's great, but I can only eat this for like a week because it's right. disgusting, right? <laughs> Not with the gem wraps. They taste so good because remember, these are made with 100% all of those beautiful fruit purees and vegetable purees. And, and really, you're incorporating vegetables into your diet here. So it's even great for your children. I know Liam loves them because they're yeah. colorful and bright and they're beautiful. And look at this. They are 100% natural, low fat, low calorie, no artificial ingredients or preservatives, gluten free, vegan, non-genetically modified Love ingredients, so non-GMO in there. And I want you to walk us through this next chart, Carrie, yeah. because here's where the proof is in the pudding. If you're trying to make those healthier choices, look, 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 and compare. Now, and it's a, so you're looking at your tomato gem wrap here. It has 25 calories versus a flour tortilla. So you think you're doing a great thing because you're like, well, I'm just going to do a tortilla and do a wrap. 140 calories. One slice of bread is 80. How often do right? we use one? We use two. So exactly. you're going to use two. That's 160. Lavash is 220. So again, something that you think is helping you. And again, look at the carbs. Look at the sodium. You are eliminating all yeah. of those things. This but is night and day. Night and day. Yeah. But still getting such great flavor. Now I'm going to show you something else because if you can, you can look at the table and see that we've done, you know, ham and cheese. We've put eggs in here. We've put, we've done our fish tacos down well, on so the side let's, here. Let's take a look. Let's take a walk because yeah. this table is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, so much stuff. So you know, down in the corner here, I want to point that one out right at the front. Okay. That is our tomato caprese. So you actually, what? we have a mozzarella. We put tomato. We put our basil, and we put, <gasps> it, we put some pesto in there. It's delicious. Okay. Oh my God. Gosh. And, you know, we put that on our barbecue wrap, or you could do that on tomato wrap, whichever you prefer. Um, there's just so many fish tacos we've done here. Oh, great. So a fantastic way. And you know, so what wrap did you use here? You're for getting, fish? for fish tacos, I believe we used the mango. No, that's the mango. Oh, This wow. is our mango chipotle. Beautiful. So that's going to give a nice flavor because, you know, you could put some slaw in there, maybe like a mango slaw mm, or something like gosh. that to, to complement it. Now, I'm going to use. Watering. I know. I'm going <laughs> to use our mango <laughs> chipotle, and I'm going to show you a way to do dessert with this, okay? So you can do tons of things for lunch lunch, dinner, what have you, but let's do our shiny side down. And then I'm going to come over here and get our peanut butter. Oh, this is my favorite. This one's amazing. Yeah. And you know, this is, this is the one that I always introduce people when like people, when they come to my home, yeah. my mom, I'll never forget her reaction. She's like, what is it? Exactly what you said. What is it? And what I said, it? yeah, just taste this. <laughs> and I made it for her and people's eyes open up and they're like, wow. And then when you tell them how good it is, yeah. how it's that low calorie alternative to your favorite pitas, to your breads, to your tortillas, to your tacos, to your crackers. This is another option that you have that tastes good because they never really taste good when you're really trying to make those choices. Yeah. And it's hard for you and you're just trying to make small changes. This is an easy way to do it. It has to taste good or you're not gonna do it. Remember you have two options. You can pick up the 48 count and with the 48 count you'll get 12 of the barbecue, 12 mango chipotle, the carrot and the tomato. And then you're getting three of the kale apple. That's $39.95. You do have two flexible payments, less than $20 to try these out. If you've never tried these, dip your toe into the water. You're going to love them. Reduce shipping and handling. If mm. you want the 72 count, you're already a fan like me. This is your best bang for the buck. You're getting the 72 count. And essentially what we've done is we've doubled the carrot, doubled the tomato, and doubled the kale apple. That's $54.95. Three flex, $18.32 over three months on a charge card. Reduce shipping and handling. That's the one that's going to go first. I have about 400 of those if you want the 72 count. But really just all natural. Yeah. They taste great. They're actually fun because it's like you're rolling sushi. In fact, that's how they were created, That right? is how they, cre they were created with sushi in mind. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the creator was basically saying to themselves, well, gosh, you know, we do this for sushi. Why can't we do this for fruit and vegetables? And just kind of thought this is a great delivery method. If you have someone that's a picky eater or maybe you're the picky eater, what I love about these is you don't taste it the way you think you would. You say, oh, that's a tomato wrap, and you think that it's going to, like, explode tomato. Mm -hmm. But no, because it's infusing with what you're putting inside. So here's our kale apples. So that has our turkey. It has apples. We put um, some cranberries from Ferris in there. And we did um, some cheese. So it's a really yummy, yummy option. Okay, so I'm just going to place that over here. That's now, beautiful. And look how pretty they are, right? We beautiful. always talk about how food has to come in through the eyes first, right? If Absolutely. you're not visually attracted to it, you're not going to eat it. Absolutely. These are bright, these are vivid, and they're all natural. When you think how these were made, 100% there, those fruit purees, those vegetable purees, and then they're just dehydrated, just like seaweed. I mean, they really taste like the real thing. And lots of times the real thing doesn't taste good. And believe me, I've struggled with my weight <laughs> 
all my life. Uh, I was a dancer. When I was a dancer, I never gained weight. And then I stopped dancing when I got to college. And then it was over. And yeah. then I struggled <laughs> forever more. Sure. Uh, you know, so I, I've done everything. I've tried every diet. I've tried every plan. You have to stick to things that actually taste good or right. it's never going to work. It has to be a lifestyle change. This is a lifestyle change. This is something you can incorporate every day. It's so wonderful. And it's so easy. It's just anything. Do you have leftovers? Do you have anything? I mean, we've done our pork. You can heat these. So if you do something where like, you use a pork or you use a chicken or you use anything like that, like our chicken parm wrap, you can actually pipe it in the microwave just for a couple seconds, let it heat up a little bit, and that is a delicious sandwich. So what you've done, again, is all you're doing is you're eliminating the carbs, you're eliminating the extra stuff you don't need, you're giving extra taste to the food that you're putting inside. So I'm gonna go back to the first one that I made, which was my chicken parm, because I know you've been wanting to I taste it. I was gonna it. say, I'm like, okay, when are you gonna let me taste this like, thing? Like, come on! But remember that step, you guys, because it's key to making these taste so amazing. Yes. You have to let them sit for like a minute or two, right, Carrie? Yep. Because that's when they rehydrate again, and all of a sudden, you get those pops of flavor, whether it's the tomato, whether it's the mango chipotle, you'll taste all of that flavor. And, and it really just adds to whatever you're eating, Absolutely. Right? So what I used on this one was the, um, this was the tomato. So mm. I thought that would look beautiful and go beautiful with the, with the chicken parm. Mm. So, you know, you usually want to do about two, three minutes just to let it set. And the longer you can let it set. Now, that's the difference between, you know, it's game day and you have all your stuff sitting out on your platter. And you're letting the bread sit there. And all it's doing is getting soggy and gross. You ever, you spend a lot of money on those pinwheels and you spend a lot of money on sandwiches. Mm -hmm. And then you come back and they're just, ugh, like yeah. the bread's just falling off and everything. Here, these are getting even better when they're sitting for a little bit because, again, they're hydrating and they're infusing. Awesome. And, what's, and what's really nice, too, is that you're still getting the ingredients you like, so it's about those small changes. Yes. You're still eating, I'm still eating my chicken parmesan here, but I've cut down on something. It's about balancing, yeah. and it's that gluten-free alternative, that natural alternative to all the breads and all the crazy carbs that we love. 48 count or 72 count, it's your option, but these are amazing, and I invite you to try them out. I think you're really gonna love them. 089065 is your item number. We're gonna take a quick little break, and Carrie, stay with us, because we've got Ferris Nuts once again.